Okay, um, Booty Islands, exactly. Mm. Oh, <laughs> shit! Oh. He, you bored in the rater, you took too long. Good job, sir. I got good news, and I got bad news. The bad news is that Guybrush has found the last piece of the map. Nah, the good news is that I got a plan that can't fail. <laughs> you see, he must take the map to a cartographer to have it deciphered. I'll head him off before he gets there. Ah. If your plan fails, it will not, your voodoo lordship. So, the question is now, do you go to the cartographer, or do you stick with your Marley plan? I'm going to go Marley. Not bad shit. Marley, take me back. What are you gonna to say to Marley to uh, to try and get you on I'm your? I'm gonna woo her. What's your What's your pickup line for Marley? Do you like my dress that has pockets? That's that's pretty good. That's not bad actually. Mm. Yeah. Because you're not wearing the dress anymore, are you? No. But like definitely. It has metaphorical pockets. Yeah. Yeah. It's a metaphorical dress with metaphorical pockets. Yeah. Oh, guy brushing. Yeah. Mm. Still going yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I didn't realize he'd be so bare faced about that. Marley. I didn't realize those chairs had a name. Dumpy. That's this thing. I'd say you've done it a few times. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it actually isn't, he probably hasn't got yeah. that far. So actually, just try and put the map pieces on the on the frame. Yeah, got second place. Nope. Probably saved a lot of materials, huh? <laughs> I'm sure I don't know. No, you can't. Not that paper mache is very okay. expensive. Okay, I guess you have to go to the cartographer. You mean papier mache? To Mardi Gras, to all the women I've loved before. Of course, you have to be Irish. Oh. Or tiddly tea potato, I should look at anyway. Right, Country's so cartographer. Where do we find him? Which island? I'm going to give you Scab. two guesses. Scab. Is the correct answer. Go back to the you're, you're somehow getting better at this. Ugh. Although, granted, it was a one and three choice. And you're already on one of the islands. So, if anything, it's a one and two choice. Yeah, but it's also, I could be doing that whole thing where I go to the same island I'm already on. Which you've done several times. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta walk all across the island to get to Dreadship so we can bring it back to the island of RDM. Yes. Well, which, it, which would be really entertaining viewing. <laughs> yeah, like look at all that walking slowly across an island. I mean, they watch the air quest, so fuck it. I mean, they'll give these poor suckers anything. I think this is for the Neil's breakdown, really. Yeah, that's true. Nothing does content better. There he is. I swear I put it right here. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Oh shit. Mm. Mm. You could get the monocle hey, back to it. I him. did it! Margo the Grand left scare. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. I hope I didn't lose it. Like he's been hours without that. Never been more yeah, his you. productivity is gone completely. How am I supposed to work? Hi Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without Shit, my monocle. where did we leave his monocle? Oh, we gave it to Captain Dredd. Thanks. Yeah. I gotta go. Can we get, I don't know if you can get it back off him, because it seems to be locked in. Gang. Can we just I'm give him a piece? A scope. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. Aww. Aww. Can we give him the telescope? Can't I do anything right? It. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. Oh, Ooh, okay. That being so rude. Okay, this is actually quite clever. We find it. We so, give the telescope to Dread. No, oh. that is not the case. Unfortunately, Dread is kind of is immune from all this now. Yeah. So we have to. He's looking for a monocle. Let's get him the next best thing. A telescope. No. Glasses. But the telescope is not, is close. Glasses. Not glasses. But what's what's in the telescope? A mirror. No. Uh, uh, glass. Remember, 
I'm sure that you have done some form of optics in your life. Metal. No. Oh. A lens. Lens. So where have we seen a lens on our travels? Right there. Yes, but not in a telescope. Um. A single lens that we can use as a monocle. <laughs> no. I'm only getting telescope. It's not telescope. We might need that telescope later on. Let's uh, not destroy it. I would like I'll steer you towards Fat Island and the library and maybe things might become a bit clearer. Your one's glasses. No. Oh we can't take it her. It is in the library though. We can't take her glasses off her because she is great. She's also a librarian and she would actually need them. Yeah. Or else she's not a librarian anymore, she's just a fridge book. Yeah. <laughs> I like this as a legal distinction. Now, so library. Let's see if something with a lens. It's a real puzzle, folks. On a tired Burke bomb. Something with a lens. This. Yes. This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. Let's open the lighthouse. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. This is a library. Can you look at the lens separately? This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. Please be quiet. See it? Oh, go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh. Success. Now off to Wally we go. Bye, Buck Lady. Come on, Guybrush. <laughs> You're oh. already attached there. It's just like, I don't want to leave the library. I just like books so much. It's meant to be Guybrush treatment. Ooh, yeah. Guy, guy books reads true. Almost an it's almost Guy an Guybrush brush reads wood. Reads wood. Ooh, I like that. That checks out. I like it. That <laughs> checks out. Comedy gold this is. For crying out loud. <laughs> Shut up, Wally. We <laughs> get it, you're blind. I hope it didn't roll onto the floor. Don't make a big deal of it. Ah, that'll work. Thanks. Ooh. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. What exactly do you do here? We know. I'm a cartographer. <laughs> Why did you talk to him, Dad? Here, Matt. Here, Matt. Here, Matt. I'm the map-making sort of cartographer. Oh. Is that meant to be a squirrel in the background? Yes. Do you dart or a cat with wings? Uh. Anyway, give him the map piece. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, uh, see ya. Okie dokie. So, give him a map. What's this? A map? Hmm. Looks like only part of a map. I got the rest of it right here. Ding ding. Yay. Hmm. Very interesting. Can you put it all together into one map for me? I'll do it for you if you'll run an errand oh, for me. Oh, Go to the International something. House of Mojo and ask the fortune teller if my love potion's ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll try to have this done for you when you come back. Right, I want to get your synapses firing here. Who's Wally trying to woo in this universe? Case capsize. Ooh, that's a... That's a hard bargain, isn't it? Ex-con now as well. So she's just that extra little bit of dangerous. He's so not. Lads, get on to the fanfiction writing and send it straight to burkbot at gmail.com. Don't use my actual gmail. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's not actually, it's uh, birdbot54 at gmail.com. <laughs> 54 is a very symbolic number to work. It's the number of times Skybrush Street Broad has failed to walk out of the door. Yes. He's the clumsiest protagonist that we've ever played as. Oh my god, move! Except for Crash Bandicoot, obviously. And only when I'm controlling. Yeah, well, I didn't want to be that specific, to be honest, but I think the, the number of deaths in that playthrough really uh, speaks volumes. Just imagine, Burkwad, if you were playing a Sierra game, how would that turn out to be? It'd be... We'd still be playing the first one. Yeah, that's true. Wally sent me to pick up some love potion. Oh, okay. Tell him I said to enjoy, but to be careful. It's powerful stuff. If your erection lasts that for more than four hours, her. consult the doctor. Wait. I just felt a sudden disturbance. Oh. As if a tiny, tiny voice just called out in fear. 
and then hastily scratched a message in a table. Ooh. I think Wally's in trouble. And I think LeChuck has something. That is oh, oddly me. specific. Oh. Uh -oh. I better go check. Oh, snap. Christ! So, you've really just thrown Wally to the wolves here. Yeah, at least he can see the wolves. <laughs> That's a small saving grace. At least he can see his enemy before he dies. As the, as the honorable fucking cartographer he is. Bushido map readers. I'm not to remember that one. So what do you think he's gonna do to combat the Chuck? I think he's gonna scratch some um, coded words into the table so that Guybrush can help him. That's the, the, the correct answer. Woo! But the map's gone. It, the map is probably gone. Yes. Now it's a race against time. And I'm so bad at that. Where'd he go? Oh, uh, why are you surprised, guys? Someone's hastily scratched a message here. It just says, LeChuck. Oh no, LeChuck's kidnapped the cartographer. The poor little guy. Hey, he has my map. Oh, what do we do? Oh. Yeah, let's. It just says, right. LeChuck. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so. What do we do next? That is the question. We fight the Chuck until the very end. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, so. Seeing that Wally is not here, we might as well use his uh, love potion, right? Let's go outside first. It is par very powerful stuff. Oh, Jesus. Juju bag. Open it. Let's see here. There's some matches in here. And something that says love bomb on it. Okay. We'll yeah. keep that in. They will come in handy at some stage. Okay, I'd like to go back to the swamp. There's something we can use. Oh. That will get us to the chuck. That coffin. The white That's new. Great. That was not there before. No. Let's look at it. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. Care of LeChuck's Island Getaway and Spa. <laughs> Contents miscellaneous voodoo supplies. Oh. Okay, open it. And get in. Oh, Yeah, we're going into the belly of the, the beast. Ghost pirate LeChuck. Care of LeChuck's Island Getaway and Spa. I think there's something moving in here. Oh. <gasps> hey, Rich. I sure could use a hand with this one. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> Looks like another box of live snakes. <laughs> Sounds like it, too. Well, let's get it on the truck. What truck? Shh, don't worry about it. So, part three. We're in the fortress now. You, are you hyped? Are you ready to fight yeah. the enemy? Come on, the truck. Come All on, right. fight in me. the small oh. crate of voodoo supplies that would be his home for the next five days and nights, Guybrush is forced to eat bat lungs, and eel bladders to stay alive. Still better than McDonald's. Eventually, Guybrush and the rest of the slithering cargo are delivered to the very doorstep of the Caribbean's most fearsome villain, living or dead, the ghost pirate, LeChuck. You know, we usually don't deliver out of this. Fucking FedEx, am I right? You guys fucking for a tip. Well, we figured since. Well, you figured wrong. But Chuck don't tip nobody. What is it about pirates that are just so untrustworthy? What a bunch. And we are now in the fortress. Heck. Trojan horse. Love it. 